coming to you bright and early because I want to talk about, and I want to talk about, and I also want to talk about, and I want to talk about, I want to talk about fresh, whole, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables for the dang wind. And I was just thinking to myself, when you eat, you know, here's, here's a new way you can think about your food. You can think, what have you done for me lately? What is your food doing for you? Are you just eating for pleasure? Or are you eating for pleasure and a whole lot more? More bang for your buck, you know? More nutrient power punch per calorie. That's the question. I want to talk about greens and their power, you know? Kale and spinach. You know, the tops of carrots. When you buy carrots, do you cut off the tops and throw them in the garbage? You threw away the sun. You just threw away the most nutritious part, right? The top of beetroot, for example, um, arugula, watercress, shoots and sprouts, oh my. That is what we need to focus on. People are leaving this on the table. So many testimonies of healing and regenerating from the power of greens. The molecular structure of greens is very similar to our blood structure. You know, it's like an infusion of nutrients, a blood transfusion, you know. Like a healthy blood transfusion. You know, it's like unreal and unbelievable results come when you start to add in the greens, the raw living food. You know, even over time, the healing of my body has been miraculous. What transformations have taken place. Even the healing of my skin. I had acne, nodular acne, so bad I could not even leave the house. It left me scarred up and even over the years I've never had a skin peel. I don't use some fancy potions, lotions, products. No, I use a little coconut oil and I've been using the Zuzu Cosmetics which is vegan and cruelty free and they stay on and they give a, a bam to your eyes. But that's not the point. The greens over time, I'm able to even get up in, in a different location. Look at it outside. What in the world? That is, look, that is beautiful. It is a beautiful fall day. But you, I'm able to get up in a foreign land and walk around without makeup on for a while and, and feel okay. You know, feel like here I am. And, and before I couldn't have done that. The power of greens is the point. What else do I want to tell you? Offering a newbie to this lifestyle a green smoothie, or if you're new to this lifestyle, go with a 50-50 ratio. 50% greens on your volume, 50% fruit. Because really when you blend that down, you're only going to taste the fruit. 50-50 plus water, bam. 50-50 plus water plus chia seeds, bam, and it gives you a long-lasting result of keeping you full. Here's another thing. What about the kiwi fruit having four times more vitamin C than even oranges? We need to know our stuff. Somebody said, y'all saw me say this not too long ago. Somebody said, why do we break it down into what nutrients and vitamins and minerals each thing have? The reason we do that and the reason we need to know, because you need to know if you have low iron, what greens to incorporate that will amp that up. You need to know what greens have more nutrition, how they blend, how they taste, so that you can be successful on your new diet and lifestyle for the long haul. Not just for a little bit, for the sustainability of never having to go back to your yo-yo dieting, never having to go back to the old you. You know what I'm saying? By the way, green smoothies can last all day. Blend up your green smoothie. The less you have to blend to break up the cellular wall in the vegetables, the fruits and greens, the better. All right, once you do that, don't continue to blend, okay? Blend what you need to and stop the blend. Pour it into mason jars all the way to the top so there's no air. Put your top on tight. Pack it in your lunchbox that's got your... 
um, cold packs in there, take it to work or put it in the refrigerator or whatever. Those will last two days in the refrigerator just like that. There's no reason we have to say, well, Tanny, I have to go to school all day. You know, I can't, I can't do it. I just can't do it. You can't do it because that's what you say. If you'll tell yourself, I can do it, and what kind of lunchbox do I need that I can put some ice packs in there and take it to work? You can even pack banana ice cream and celery. I used to do that at my old job, and I didn't even put it in the refrigerator. I had a cheap lunch box, and I put a couple of cold packs in there down the side of my banana ice cream. And by lunchtime, it was slightly soft serve, but not really. I would have that. There's no, there was no excuse, you know. What do I need to do to make it happen? And that's what I was going to do. I mean, think of it as a little research project for yourself, like um. Like, here's a little project for you about the greens. Looking into what greens are most nutritious. It's easy. Everything's on the web, you know. Why the heck would you go to the library and dive through all these books when you can just type in the nutritional properties of greens and bam, there it is. You can jot it down, post it, post it old school, you know, when you're writing up on your cabinet. Or, or on your snack cabinet when you're fixing to go in there and have some Doritos that do nothing but toxify the body, you know. Looking into what grains are most nutritious, like if you tend to have low iron, like I said, what you can do to bump up your iron, getting it from your whole foods. That's all you need. And then you can say to the food as you're fixing to consume it, what have you done for me lately, you know? And you're going to know what it's going to do for you. And those kind of facts in your arsenal of weapons against what everybody else in this dang world eats it, it's important, you know, it's the why. Number one, the why the heck you want to do it to be different. And number two, why this food is going to help you do it. By the way, you know, I rarely juice anymore. I, I will juice and consume juice. But it's a, as a side beverage, I have found that as I've held my digestive tract, I do not want to leave the nutrition of the fiber and all the things I'm throwing out in the fiber and the sustainability of the fruits and vegetables, the juice that it keeps with me when I keep the fiber intact like it's supposed to be. Another thing, green smoothies are a habit that people will do because basically you need to blend and rinse. You go to juicing and I used to take 64 ounces of, of like a lemon ginger blast to school every day and I would get up I would have to spend at least 30 minutes in my slow auger juicer to get that juice. At least 30 minutes, and that was not clean up. We're talking about a minute. Let's say three minutes if you had to get the stuff out of the refrigerator, rinse it off, put it in, blend it, and rinse your container. Three minutes. You got three minutes, right? It is a habit that people will stay with. That's the only habit you need to worry about because things that, that you can't keep up, it's a waste of your time. It's nothing but get up, fall down. Get up, fall down. I want to get up and stay up, you know? This week, if you incorporated green smoothies for your breakfast, lunch, and snack, and basically have a salad for dinner or one of my raw soups, you could be well on your way to, to body, mind, soul, and spirit transformation in one week. You could be a different person if you start today on Sunday by next Saturday. That is no joke. Why don't you take the plunge and do it? What's stopping you and what's holding you back? Why do you have to wait till whatever to get started? What about today? It's like 9 o'clock now. What about by lunch? Or you've probably not even had breakfast yet. What about today? Well, Tanya, I don't have stuff in my cabinet to do it. Okay, don't eat till you go get it and then do it, you know? Well, Tanya, I got this whole cabinet full of stuff. You know, I've got, I've got cream of wheat. i got some cans of ravioli. I got, okay, give it to the food bank. When you give something like that away, it really helps it solidify in your brain. Oh, this is not good for me. You know what I'm saying? Throw it in the garbage if it's really toxic. Why do you even want to give that to somebody else? Taking the plunge and doing it, you know, making now the time. Or are you still more interested in getting away with the cheat? Do you know what I'm saying? With um, You've got some people that, um, what can I get away with, you know? 
ultimately you're cheating yourself when you think, well, okay, I'm going to have this raw soup, but, but you got it raw, you got it heated up a little bit in your Vitamix, still raw, you go to your couch with it, and, and it needs, it's missing a salty component to you because you're frankly addicted to salt. You have not allowed your taste buds to change over three or four days, get off the dang salt, and you won't want the salt. But let's say you want the salt. So you get up from your recliner with your perfectly healthy raw soup that you added greens and everything, and it could be a power punch to get you on the right track. And you come to your cabinet and you add all this salt. Or let's say you're addicted to fat. You think, well, I'll just put this dollop of sour cream in there. Why don't we do that? And we blend it up and we think to ourselves, well, it's still the raw soup. You've just cheated yourself out of what could have been a detox and regeneration soup. You have cheated yourself with the cheat because we want to try to, what can we get away with and still think we're going to get the results? You're going to get the results of what you put into it, you know? You'll get the consequences of what you put into it, you know? Every action has a reaction, right? Or we choose to put the, um, the half and half in coffee instead of waking up and having like a lemon ginger detox tea because you knew you needed to detox because you've got inflammation in your body so bad you can't really stand up out of the bed in the morning. And we just think, oh, I'll just put this little bit of cream. It won't matter. Though we want to call ourselves vegans. And then we say, well, I'm not getting the results on this low-fat, raw, vegan diet, though half the, half the calories yesterday in your diet came from fat. Because you took the jar of raw almond butter to the couch, or you kept on adding in all this stuff, or you didn't leave out all the toxic chemicals because you were more interested in the cheat of what you could get away with than the hardcore results, you know? I'm really not interested in that anymore. I'm interested in extreme results. What else do I want to tell y'all about that? That's all for now. But I just want to come to y'all and dance, really, and and um, show you the, the majesty of this day. And I'm going to go over to the waterfall that's near here today. And I'm, I'll try to video there if um, if you can hear me. But um, my, my friend is up and about today. And Christopher and I are going to take a little walk over there. Yesterday... My video, I did a video in nature, and it was it was a majestic place, too, on the side of the mountain. And I was sitting in the middle of all these flowers, and I picked some for y'all. And I said, um, these are for you. And I said, take my hand. Let me love you till you can learn to love yourself. So maybe I'll re-record that today. But for some reason, okay, my phone has too many videos on it. So that's why it didn't, it didn't take what I was dishing out. It wasn't picking up what I was laying down, you know. But here's the thing. I saw these deer. Y'all, there were like four deers on the side of the road. And it, it's just like almost like a path road through here. They were right there. They were like six feet from me. And they weren't even moving. Like I thought if I had something, they would have come up to the car to eat. And they were so beautiful. And I even, they even stood there and, and allowed me to record them. And I lost that video for this. We'll try to find them today. <laughs> We won't play this song, it might scare them off. <laughs> I've been dreaming about the love that you do. I've been dreaming about the love that you do. <laughs>